every side of it seems um like it just like seems to be like continuously escalating on all of the sides johnny depp fans by the way are not really willing to listen to accusations the situation with amber heard in regards to her very public battle against ex-husband jd has led many in the public eye to turn against her would look at this story with johnny depp and amber heard and i'm like i don't want to touch it it's too it's very toxic there's yeah. There's so much going on there, I don't even know how. Mainly because in the beginning, she was very clearly the victim of AP via her statements. Both Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are responding to audio that was posted this week by the Daily Mail, which was one of the conversations that Amber recorded between her and Johnny during their marriage. But then things started to change when JD started to provide evidence that she was the one who was a being him, repeatedly in fact. And as more information comes out, people want her to be punished. So Amber says, babe, you're not punched. I don't know what the motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you, God. I sometimes get so mad I lose it. Including her losing her role as Mira in Aquaman 2. But Amber Heard isn't aiming to let go of that role in any way. I'm going to break it down for you, but before I do that, do me a favor, leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get started. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number 5. The Situation in short, the situation in regards to the court battle, more like a war, between Amber Heard and JD grows more and more over the top and tiresome with each new development that arises. I can promise you I can do everything to change. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. And Johnny is heard saying, I do not want to leave you. I do not want a divorce. For example, not too long ago, JD lost an appeal against the case he had battling both Heard and the newspaper The Sun for the articles the paper put out about him. But then a few days ago, new camera footage from the officers who arrived at Heard and Depp's penthouse on the night that Heard has claimed numerous times was the time when JD went on a rampage and trashed their house showed nothing of the sort. This has fired up the fan base as they're tired of seeing Depp being the only one punished for all that's going on and they've set their sights on getting Amber Heard out of the role of Mira. Number 4. The Petition To go and do this, the fans have gone on to places like change.org and have started petitions to get Amber Heard out of the role. It was a huge headline last week that Johnny Depp was fired from the Fantastic Beasts franchise by Warner Brothers after he lost his court battle against the UK newspaper The Sun. And they've done rather well considering. In fact, they went and got about 2 million signatures, which is not an insignificant amount if we're being honest here. What's more, despite him being the star of the movie, Jason Momoa hasn't spoken out about anything going on with Amber Heard. And that could speak volumes as to what's going on here. Been a huge online petition for over a year now to get Amber fired from the Aquaman franchise because of her legal battle. Naturally, Amber Heard has denied the importance of the petition and has stated that only the studio has the power to change things and not the fans. But we all know that's not true because the voices of the fans carry weight, and that was proven very recently via the Snyder Cut being put on HBO Max. Number three, the conflicting reports. I'm super excited about the amount of fan love and the amount of fan appreciation that Aquaman has acquired and that has garnered so much excitement for Aquaman and Mira that it means we'll be coming back. The true big problem with the casting issue is that there are a lot of conflicting stories and downright false information about what Warner Brothers is doing with Aquaman 2 and Mira. The film is set to start filming this summer according to multiple stars, but in doing so, there have been multiple sites stating that Warner Brothers is either going to replace her or try to limit her role. I'm so excited to film that. Paid rumors and paid campaigns on social media don't dictate casting decisions because they have no basis in reality. And yet, Heard and her representatives have denied this every single time, which has made fans even more furious because they want action on this, not indecision. And some of the posts from the people about this casting situation are getting their hopes up in ways they'd rather not deal with if it's not true at all. Especially when some of those posts are about other actresses like Amelia Clark taking over the role and giving the fans a Game of Thrones reunion. But you surprised about this? Because this, this is the same movie company, right? This is Warner Brothers. So Warner Brothers is Aquaman, Warner Brothers is Fantastic Beast. So this is the same movie company 
getting rid of Johnny, keeping Amber. But until Warner Brothers actually admits that she has been recast, she's not likely to go anywhere. Which brings us to the latest curious report. Number two, asking for more. But yet there's the group of people who, regardless of what the realities are, will just always pick a side. As noted earlier, one of the rumors about Aquaman 2 is that Warner Brothers was going to try and limit the role of Mira in order to limit the backlash and controversy that was going to build up in the lead up to the film. Amber Heard has some explaining to do after she was called out by ex Johnny Depp and his lawyers. They claimed that Amber had not donated the $7 million she received in the divorce to charity. However, now reports are stating that not only is that not going to happen, but Amber Heard is asking for more scenes in the movie, which presumably has a finished script at this point, though obviously that's not confirmed either. Why would she ask for that? Several reasons to be honest, not the least of which was that despite the controversy surrounding her, she was one of the best parts of the original Aquaman movie. And it's not $7 million worth of Leo costs, I'm mm, sure. No. But yeah, it doesn't make sense that she's only donated $100,000 at this point. And critics acknowledge that. Furthermore, she likely wants to go and rub it into the faces of JD supporters by showing them that not only is she not going to lose her role, but she'll be getting even more screen time. In short, it's a vanity and revenge move, which seems to work along the lines of what JD and his team have been saying about her for years now. Number one, why hasn't Warner Brothers done anything? Amber replied on Twitter saying, yes, Mr. Waldman, I may be wearing makeup on this occasion, but on every occasion, you will still be short. That's the question that fans are demanding to know, and no answer's been given. Because while JD was forced to leave a role in a Warner Brother movie because of the situation around him, Amber Heard has not. And that's a very curious thing given the various pieces of evidence and testimony that have been presented. Yeah, and when one of Johnny's fans responded, I'd rather be short than an abuse gold digger amber replied it's good to be realistic with your goal but this honestly does speak to a larger issue with warner brothers and that they've been fighting and losing a pr battle for a while now in regards to the ray fisher situation where he's called out warner brothers for supporting an ab in joss sweden against the sun because he was up against rupert murdoch and the next time it would be different amber responded it must be so hard and racist treatment against people of color on the set of Justice League. Warner Brothers has almost stubbornly gone out of their way to protect themselves, and this might be another example of that. But nothing about that whole story <laughs> seems like a good move right. to anybody. I mean, like, it's it really has been one of those sort of drawn out um, stories that we've seen in the press for some time, and... They'd rather not admit they're protecting the wrong person, so they're letting her be Mira. And there you have it, everyone. A look at what might just happen with Amber Heard and her role as Mira in Aquaman 2. Do you think that Warner Brothers will come to their their senses and remove her from the role? Or do you think they'll continue to protect her and punish JD as they did with him in the Fantastic Beasts franchise? What will be the ultimate fallout of this? Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.